this is going to be a very talkative video because I am truly excited. I am recording this video on the 12th, which is a Saturday, but it will not go up until Tuesday, which let me check what day of the week is that. Tuesday will be the 15th. So that's when y'all going to get this video. First off, thank you, thank you, thank you for two different things. One, for the love and support, baby, we hit 1,000 subscribers Friday, 11-11 Veterans Day. I was too geeked. Also, um, Thursday night, I posted my Mel's video for uh, in Mel's memory. I'll leave that video linked right here above. And that has become my most popular video of the year. So I want to say thank you all. I just wanted to show my love and support for Mel and it finds out, baby, you all are loving and supporting her as well. That bundle did sell out as well the very next day. So I was excited about that. And Sydney Grace did announce that they're going to have a restock. So if you all want to get up on that, you might want to hurry up. But this is an eyeshadow tutorial. So if we're going to talk and do makeup, we need to get started on the first step. Yeah, I guess on my hair, she look all right. And with that actually sitting there like this creams. And I had to have them, sis. All family here. I just had we're gonna discontinue it, but I had to pick up their book of shadows, honey. The color green makes cheap fan, expensive breeze, good times. Why so serious? <laughs> First up, can we get into this gorgeous packaging? This is the Strip Neutrals palette by The Face FX. You all know I absolutely love this brand because they were the first brand to send me PR. And so I had to pick this palette up. The thing is, this is the all shimmer version. The version that had glitter particles in it did sell out and that was the one I wanted, but I didn't get my coins up in time. But nonetheless, this palette is gorgeous, and I have to also show you the sand on the back because it is very inspirational. On the back, you can see that it has a 24-month shelf life and the ingredients, but what I wanted to focus on was this saying here. It says, strip yourself of all the things that do not speak to who you really are. Newly new, Phoebe. And I'm telling you, once I saw that, I knew I was going to be in love with this palette. On the inside, there is a mirror, but I am covering that with a box that looks exactly like the packaging on the outside. But what I wanted to show you was right underneath the mirror, it says you are, and it has the dot, 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 because you can finish that sentence off with any of these nine shades here, and they are all inspirational words to finish off that sentence. You have words like accepted, loved, forgiven, and I'm going to make sure I get a better view, so I'm going to come a little closer, and then we're going to get into the swatches. And honey, I understand warm neutrals are appropriate year round, but I think fall is the perfect time for them. And with this palette having six mattes and three metallics, you know I'm loving that ratio. I'm someone who has hooded lids, so I love me a deep crease shade, and that bottom row has me falling in love. So with no further ado, honey, let's get into these swatches. And honey, you know I appreciate a good swatch. As per usual, these are done one time over no primer. And these are beautiful, honey. Everything was smooth, everything was pigmented. Of course, because that last shade has a mauve ready undertone, it was the most difficult to get full pigmentation. But as you can see, the pigment is there and it went all the way down. It's just not quite as smooth as it was at the top as it is at the bottom. No, other way around. But the pigmentation was there. It is smooth and I'm quite sure I'm going to play with at least two, if not three of those metallics because baby, y'all know I like a nice shimmer. So with no further ado, honey, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. All right, you guys, let's get started. As with all tutorials, all tools and product shoes will be in the description bar below. So if you ever want to know what I'm using, make sure you check out there. So, we're going to pull our eyeshadow out right here and I want to start off with the transition shade and we're going to go with forgiving because baby you are forgiven honey. We're going to take that with a large fluffy blending brush and blend that throughout our entire crease. I got my rougher 27 loaded up. We're going to tap off our excess and we're going to go on in. But baby, this weekend has been absolutely amazing when I tell you, I just did not expect that type of 
support. Like, I know you've always loved me. You guys have always been there for me. The thing is, I usually average about 80 to 130 views in the first 24 hours for a video. And, you know, I'm usually happy with that. The thing is, I believe 12 hours later when I woke up the next morning to check the views on that video, I had already posted within the first hour that you all had took that to number one based on views. But to wake up 12 hours later and see that that video had over 200 views, it was like, wait, it usually take me about a week to get to 200. So to know we did that in 12 hours, I was like, and I already know by the time I got to start and recording this video, baby, it's already past 500. So I'm sitting back like, ooh, we. And you all saw how fast and beautiful and that blent out. This is one layer. And I'm debating on whether I want to go in with another layer just to see what type of pigmentation we get. And it's like, baby, well, not necessarily pigmentation. We're talking about the build because the blend on that and the pigmentation is beautiful. And just because y'all are here, we're going to go ahead and do one more layer just to see what she like. But we're going to tap off our excess. And back to those videos. Oh, yeah. So I woke up Friday feeling amazing that Thursday's video had the up well. And then Thursday was Veterans Day. You all know my brother is in the military. And he managed to text us Thursday night and let us know he's going to be flying in. And he's literally only going to have a few hours before he has to fly back out. And so we set up for him to meet up with my mother and have lunch. She thought she was only going to meet up with his wife. Come to find out, baby, he was here. She cried, screamed, hollered, ran out in the parking lot when she saw him. So that was a beautiful day. And we were just so ecstatic that we were able to get that set up for her. And I'm just loving it, baby. But I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do this on the other side. And then we'll finish the story. Because the transition shade turned out so beautiful, I only want to slightly deepen up my crease. So we're going to go into this shade here, Welcome, and we're going to use a slightly smaller blending brush. And this color picks up beautifully as well, so we're going to tap off that excess, honey, because we can always come back in for more. And start this once again, lowest part of the crease all the way throughout. And where was I? Oh, picking my brother up. So we met up with uh, my brother for lunch because we knew my mother still had to go to work because she honestly was not expecting him to show up. So she was excited. After that, I went to the uh, Great Lakes National Cemetery to visit my old best friend, James. So, you know, I know like many other people, we go out to the uh, Veterans Cemetery to visit our loved ones that we've lost. And I just wanted to remind him that he has not forgotten even though he is no longer here with us. Um, that drive is usually about an hour each way, so I knew I had to be well rested. And I honestly felt good knowing that one, I was able to help my mother see my brother, knowing that my video had done well, knowing um, my channel had blown up. So I'm sitting back like, okay, how could this day get any better? Ended up coming home. Uh, what was the about? Oh, yeah, you see how that sad deepened up compared to that sad, baby. Look at that. She is pretty. I was going to say I want to go in with another layer. But honestly, I'm liking the soft build that came up from that. So I think we're going to leave that just like that. But what we will do is put that on the outer V. Actually, screw the outer V. We did outer V work on the last look. We're going to skip that on here. What else were we doing? I got to do this on the other side. See, look, I'm so excited and so happy, you all. I can't even keep a straight mind right now. So I'll be right back. And just because I want a little bit of trauma, honey, I know this is supposed to be a soft look, but I have hooded eyes and I love deepening up my crease. So we're going to go into our last matte shade here. This shade is called Beautiful, and we're going to use that with our smallest blending brush in the lowest part of the crease. I've definitely picked up too much on my ruffle 14, so we're going to tap that off. And we're going to go, I want to try to keep this on the outer half of the uh, crease instead of going into the inner half. So we're going to start out here and work our way in. And I'm trying to figure out what else was I... Oh, once I found out about us hitting that 1,000 mark, because I didn't hit it as soon as I woke up or anything, I had already realized the Sydney Grace video was number one. Um, it took a few hours, but before I left the cemetery, it had already crossed the 1,000 mark. And it just made me feel a lot better because I was telling my friend about how I've been putting in more work into YouTube, being more consistent lately, and it's really starting to pay off, and how 
I'm really happy that, you know, people are starting to notice the channel. I, I'm not going to say I don't care about views at all because I want as many people to see my content as possible. It's just that views don't make or break me. If a video does good, I feel good. But if a video does bad, I'm not, you know, going to beat myself up because I didn't get, you know, a ton of views or anything. It's usually the interaction in, in most videos. It's certain people that I look for to respond and interact with because they're here every time. And I've just gotten accustomed to having support from those people. And I know as long as I have a small circle of people around me, I can do whatever I want. But it makes it easier to get things like PR and more brand deals and things like that if you have more people watching and supporting your channel. And as you all can see on this end, this is beautiful. That built up nice and soft and she's giving just a little more depth and dimension on this side. And I'm loving the fact that I did not take that all the way in because then that would have shrunken that. And with my hooded lids, we don't need to be doing all that unless we're going to cut our crease. And so while I'm still talking, we could just build this up on the other side because I don't want to lose track of thought right now. But basically, I was on my way home and all I kept thinking about was I need to let any and everyone know that I can. So I pulled over, immediately called my best friend Chanel and would let her know about the 1000 and she was excited. I was able to speak to my brother about it before he left back out because he was only here for a few hours. Um... On oh, Snapchat, that was the first place I wanted to put it because I didn't want to put it on Instagram and things. First, I wanted to verify that the information was true because it didn't hit me at first. I just kept telling myself, like, is it real? Is it real? I need y'all to go check. I need y'all to go online and see. And everybody kept saying the same thing. Like, no, baby, that number is there. That's, that's you. You got that thousand subscriber count, honey. Go ahead and get it. And so I was just so happy that I celebrated with you all on Snapchat and afterwards the first thing everybody kept saying is one congratulations but two you need to come up with a name for your subscribers because everybody else has one you know um, people like Jacqueline Hill has the Hillsters um, James Charles has the sisters and things like that so I'm like I would not know what I would want to call my subscribers so, I need your help, everyone. If you have any ideas what we can call ourselves, I want you to please leave a suggestion in the description bar, not in the description bar, in the comment section below, because we getting bigger out here in these streets, and I want to make sure that we can get our name locked in because we don't have one. But what we also don't have is any lid shade, so I need to grab my lid primer so we can go ahead and jump to that. And speaking of lid shades, I wanted to make sure while I'm putting on my lid primer, I have my next glitter adhesive that I check in with you all because you all know I've been doing these videos where I have my use it or lose it going on. I'm going to leave that video right here where I pick 10 different videos, I mean 10 different palettes to use in the month of November and any palette that I did not use, I would have to declutter or sell. And I only had one exception for one palette and that would be if for any reason um, I use the and Mel's memory bundle that I could have an exception on one of those palettes and I did use it So so far I do have an exception on one But I wanted to know if you all would make an exception for a second palette if I couldn't get to it If I used it this month because I just got notification from uh, Adept Cosmetics that they are sending me the Minka palette and that will be here Tuesday according to the shipping notification I'm going to have to go pick that up from the P.O. box. So if you all would like to see a video using the Minka palette, I would have to either push that off until next month or if I get it done, um, I would have to push it off to next month. But if I get it done this month, that would have to push back another palette and I don't want to break my promise of doing 10 this month. So I can still do 10 palettes. It just wouldn't be from that. And the two palettes that get pushed out of this month's video, I'll guarantee and put those first in the next month's video. So let me know in the description bar if you all are okay with that. And now that I've done this side, I'll be right back. And baby, we only got three shimmers in this palette, but because I got big lids, I want to use at least two of them. So for the inner half of our lids, we're going to use this shade here, Restored. And for the outer half, we're going to use this top shade here, Loved. And I have this shade here, Restored. We're going to take this from the inner half 
all the way to the center and we're gonna put this down and before we put this on we were talking about future videos and whether I could do the makeup palette next week but I wanted to remind you all that I do have a collab video coming up next Saturday it is going to be with a dear friend Janessa J you all know she has supported my channel since the beginning. She's been one of the other creators that I've always been able to reach out to and get support from. And remember when I was having some financial issues where I could not purchase makeup, she was one of those dear friends who was helping and getting me items that I could not afford myself because you all know I could not afford anything from the Michaela and Glamlight Part 2 collection. Everything that I had in that video she purchased and I'll leave that video link right here above. So when she asked if I wanted to collab this week, I mean, this next coming week, I was like, oh, definitely, you don't even have to ask. Just let me know when and where, and we can figure something out. So this Saturday, we will have a collab coming out, and you all see how beautiful that color is, honey. I'm loving this because she's like an old gold, not that new, that I call it jaundice. Anytime I see a brick yellow gold, it just, because I have such a yellow complexion, they just don't quite do it for me. This here, like I said, it's more like an old gold where it has much more of a neutral tone instead of that brick yellow, and I am loving her. So I'm gonna do this on the other side. Now this shade here, Loved, is the one that has me the most excited. I know a lot of people like champagnes and rose golds, I'm a copper and bronze type of guy. So this love here looks beautiful in pan and I can't wait to get her down. So we're gonna start her off on the outer half and then blend her toward the front to reduce any sharp lines. And yes, ma'am. And because I know I like this color, I have to say out loud, Torrance, when you blended it up to the front, don't take it all the way to the front. Just because I like this shade a little more, I'll have this take over the entire look, honey. Okay, and now that we about near the center, you can see we have both shades there. I like to take my brush and just swiggle it. Look, just pressing it and sweeping slightly right over that center area to help meld those two colors together. And that way, whenever you're sitting here looking now, that can almost come off looking like a multi-chrome where it shifts from the lighter shade in the front to that deep shade in the back. But we have two different colors that we blended to make look like one. Baby, you know I'm feeling myself. Now you all know, I talk crap about oranges all day, but we got to admit, this is gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is cut away, finish off the face, and when I come back, we'll finish the story and the lower lash line. All right, you guys, we are back, and I'm here to tell you I'm actually liking this look. For somebody who doesn't like orange, baby, I'm telling you, I was playing with a lot of it off camera, and you already know. All sorts of product shoes will be in the description bar below, but I wanted to point out a few products that I'm using today because I've been trying to switch things up, and I'm like, Torrance, if you just go ahead and make the jump, you'll know what it looks like, and you don't have to worry about it later on. Um... Because this is a first impressions with the Strip Neutrals palette, I wanted to see, Taurus, what are some other products you can test out on yourself for the first time? Um, I was online on Instagram ch chatting with someone named Bianca. What's up, Bianca? She sent me a few pictures and they were absolutely fabulous. And one of the things that stuck out to me was the blue eyeliner she was wearing. Of course. It's a blue eyeliner that not only I have never tested out, but one I can't get because it's discontinued. And I believe it was called Out the Blue by Marc Jacobs. Beautiful. And it reminded me of a Marc Jacobs mascara that I have that I absolutely love. It's also discontinued. And it's the reason I'm not wearing lashes today is because I was going to put some on. But I'm like, baby, look at how big and bold these lashes are coming through. Like, yes, ma'am. This is the Marc Jacobs At Lash Lifting and Volumizing Mascara. I only have a sample, so I know I can finish her up, but I'm like, ugh, if only we can get Marc Jacobs Beauty back, but it's gone. Um, what else did I am trying? On the lower lash line, because I didn't have a blue eyeliner that I like from Marc Jacobs, I only have a green one, and I didn't want to use my blue one from the lip bar. So I'm like, Torrance, we don't want blue on here that's gonna contrast, it's gonna be loud. Pick something orange. So I'm wearing my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Lucky. 
She is a metallic one and on my complexion, you can see her in person. I'm not sure it's showing off on camera, but she's pretty and I have her. I haven't used her too often because I've never sharpened her, but this is not my first time using her. So we have her here. What is my first time using it, baby? Usually I don't go for them because I find that yellow lipsticks tend to not brighten my teeth as much as I want. I find blue based things like a blue based red has my teeth looking fabulous. So although I have white teeth, I'm like, uh, I don't, okay, they still look white on camera because I was a little nervous, baby. But I pulled out my MAC lipstick palette. I used to love these when I were freelancing. And the thing is, I don't recall ever using this orange one, so I'm like, pull it out today. Which shade are we using? An Amplify shade, this one here is called More Orange. I think that's how you pronounce it, it's orange with an M in front of it. This shade here is extremely pigmented. When I tell you, you need the tiniest amount, the tiniest amount. And it was so loud that I knew I wasn't gonna be able to go on with just that. So I did liner, lipstick liner. For liner, I'm wearing the lip bar straight up. Love this. This is like a medium to dark red tone brown. I did not want to go on with the deeper one because I figured it would have this lip color looking even darker. And I wanted something that has some contrast, but not, you know, deep, deep dark because I didn't want my eyes to be deep dark. But I need something because that orange was way too loud by itself. So I have that here. What else? Highlighter. I I'm not sure. I think they still sell this highlighter, but I know for sure they don't sell it in this compact. And I was so glad I got it before they switched over to the plastic one. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in shade 003. First off, let's get into this compact. She is gorgeous and I forgot I had her in the cabinet, but even though I barely ever use her, I'm gonna cry if something ever happened to her because I got this off the recommendation from Milo Morales. She was Rihanna's makeup artist, and as you can see, she's used and loved, but I never even hit half of this side over here because I've been using this side for years, and the glow on this highlighter. Y'all see that beam there like... I'm not sure if they changed the formula or not. I just know they changed the packaging, but I'm never getting rid of this. I got to have it. Um... Anything else? Oh, blush and contour. Although I always use a powder contour, I've started to notice that I have a lot of cream bronzers and cream contours, and I want to start using those more often. And when I first used this cream contour here, this is the Shade and Light Cream Contour in the shade Chocolate. Y'all know, I use the powder one in Subconscious all the time, but it is hard to get a brush in here now, so I only try to use this for nose contour and the lip contour. I've come to find that if I do my face contour with a cream contour, like this one here, it gets everything done that I really want. It gives me a nice natural frame. You know, I go around my perimeter, chisel things out, but it's one of those things where I need a slightly larger brush. Which brush did I use today? Let me see. This one here, the Soft Accent Brush by Real Techniques. And she's beautiful to be small enough to get like right here and chisel out your jawbone. But sometimes I want a little bit more. And right here, this brush is too big as well as on the side of the nose. It'll give me a natural nose contour, but it ain't gonna give me that Dr. Nano 20 snatch. I'm like, look how tiny that nose is looking, baby. Because I went back in with the powder over it. But on regular running out the door days, I think I can use my cream from now on. But for that extra... We on camera, we trying to show up. That lip and that nose got to get me a little powder. And the last thing I used was the BH Cosmetics Chocolate Cherry Truffle Palette. I know I hauled this, but I don't recall ever using it. So today I went in with the, what shade? This one here. The one that had the BH logo on it. I just wanted to test her out, see what the formula is like. She's beautiful and I see why these sold out. I got on the train late, so I only managed to get this one. I didn't get the shade that I actually wanted because she was gone. And I'm hoping BH, even if they can't come out with these again, that they bring out more blush formulas because she's gorgeous and four colors can't beat it. But I'm telling you all, we've been sitting back, we've been blabbing, we've been chatting, I've been online talking to y'all as well, showing off this look. So 
so we need to race into it because I got a live going up tonight at 7 o'clock and I got about 20 more minutes to get this video done, so let's finish this lower lash line. And because I know I just want a little more depth and dimension, normally I would have went in with my transition and my crease shade, but because I have such a bright lower lash line eyeliner going, I'm going to need a little bit more. So we're going to take a large pencil brush and we're going to go into this shade here, Welcome, to warm things up. Then I'm either going to go in with a smaller pencil brush or a push liner brush and this shade here, Beautiful, just to help accentuate my lashes and my lower lash line. And to be careful, we're going to tap off our excess because we can always go back in for more. We're going to start on the outer end and work our way toward the front. And we're going to get this going. And I'm trying to be extra careful because I do not want this to be dark at all. But I can't have my lashes out here with no support, honey. to dip in a little more get this toward the front and I just want to connect this on the outer end I was going to say we can go in and do two layers but then I risk things getting dark so we're not going to do that we're just going to take this one layer and buff her out because we just want her to be soft and accentuate the bottom Oh yeah, I can see the smokiness on this side compared to this side. And just to give myself a little more precision than the pencil brush, I'm going to use my push liner brush. This is the Rougher 29. And we're going to push this up to the lower lash line. And just like on the top, I only want to take this halfway. Oh yes ma'am, you can see how this inner half is a little lighter than this outer half and I'm loving her. Last but not least, my favorite part of eyeshadow, highlighting my inner corner and my brows. And we're going to use the same shade today. We're going to go with the lighter shimmer, which is this shade here, Healed. And we're going to use this and I want a metallic beam in the center of the eyes. So let's get to it. Baby, you ain't got to pick up as much product as I did. But I need this to shine right here because y'all know. Oranges ain't my things, but I'm sitting back like she is so pretty. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to take and we're going to press this down first. Baby. You see that beam right? Oh my goodness. And we're going to connect that on the top. I'm not going to connect on the bottom today. Because we have color there already. And then we're going to dip in again do this on the other side and I want to try to use up as much product as I can on the inner corners and then use what's left for the brow bone and we're just going to take whatever product is left because this color is beaming and just do a slight sweep to see how much color that's going to oh yes man I want most of it right there then we'll blend the rest out and down yes ma'am you know that brow arch is where it's at for me, so we're going to pile on a little bit more right there. I'm loving it. All right, you guys, this is all the work we're going to do for the face today, but there's no point in doing all this work if we're not going to lock it in. So grab your sprays because you know I'm about to grab mine. Fix Plus to give us a glowy do. All nighter, so things will last all day. Cheap fan, expensive breeze, good times. I'm going to give this a few more moments to try and I'll be back to give you all my final thoughts. And this is the final look. I want to go ahead and give you all a full face view of things before I give you all my final thoughts. And of course you all, honey, the face of X has delivered again. Baby, y'all know, I'm not the biggest fan of warm neutrals. Neutrals are beautiful, warm tones are beautiful, but those bold oranges, reds, to me, I always told myself, 
They remind me of the days when I didn't know how to use bronzer properly, so I had an orange complexion. And part of that fear from back in the day of not having the skills and knowing what I was doing has never left me. So it's like anytime I see orange or red coming near my face, I'm instantly like, hold on. I need you to take that brush and that product and step back. But baby, I, I can't lie. I'm sitting here looking at my screen like, Torrance, this is so pretty and it complements your skin so well. I know I have a warm yellow undertone and many people with my complexion love warm neutrals. It's just nothing does it like a green for me. Nothing does it like a green for me. And behind greens, I love yellow toned greens, not orange toned greens, not blue toned greens. They pretty too, but not quite as the yellow tone was. So anytime I see a color like this and people say, oh, it's fall time. It's time to pull out those warm neutrals. I'm thinking of my warm grungy green neutrals and not these, but I gotta admit, they are gorgeous. The Face of X has delivered once again. You all know once again, I keep saying once again, you all know this was the very first brand that sent me PR and with that first palette that they sent me, I've purchased every other palette that I can from them. This is one I paid with my own money. They did not send it and I think it is absolutely fabulous. So if you were to ask me, Torrance, do you recommend this palette? Absolutely. We haven't even used all the shades in here. So if for any reason you wanted to take this and go even warmer or even bolder or brighter, or let's say you have a deeper complexion than myself, you still have these shades on this side I didn't use. Remember for transition, I went here, then here. I didn't take it to the bold level that this palette can go if I wanted to, or if I wanted something a little softer, I could have done a matte lid with this shade here and it could have been fabulous for a wedding. But I'm the type, I want to go over the top. I want to be bold even when I say I'm going to be soft and neutral. So looking at this, honey, on the eyes, this is the type of look where a woman going to feel herself because she's loving the colors, but a man not going to be offended because it's not screaming at him. He sees warm neutrals. He sees a sunset. And baby, he may be trying to spend the rest of his days with me. So before we end this video, I want to say once again, Thank you to any and everyone who has ever supported the channel. Whether you're subscribed to the channel, whether you've ever watched the video, shared it, like, comment, subscribe. I said subscribe again, like, I'm just so overjoyed because I never thought I would see this level of support on my channel. It seems like my channel was growing very slowly in the beginning, but I had to be honest with myself and remind myself that Torrance, you're going to get out what you put in. If you come in one week and work and then you disappear for three weeks, where do you expect the support to be? But I've come to realize that even when I am gone, you all check up on me. You all make sure that I'm okay. And it makes me feel like you all are family and you all are. So even though it's a thousand strong and I may not know each and every one of your names, I promise you, I love you. I love the fact that you support me. Do not forget to send me a Snapchat request. I am still taking um, requests, but if you want to be added to my private friends list, you have to make sure you send me a DM that says YouTube so I know that you all came from here. Make sure you all support the brands that I have in the description bar because these are all products that either I absolutely love or brands that I love and trust, which is why I was able to use this because it's things like, even though I never used this palette, look at how she turned out because I know the quality of the brand. Even though I had never used this lipstick, I know about MAC lipsticks, so I knew it was going to be good. And baby, even though this is only my second time using this KVD cream contour, I'm feeling myself. So I know I have a live video going up and it's going up in about eight minutes. So I need to hurry up and end this video. So with nothing else, I hope you all remember to practice, continue to stay blessed. And until next time, goodbye YouTube.